what is up fam? So I have a amazing workout coming your way and something special. So today, one of my clients, um, she does not live near me. I work with clients all around the world and she is coming to visit and we're going to work out together. I have been working with her for over two years. I love her to death. We are like it feels like she is like a second sister to me and I just couldn't be more excited. So get ready. I have an epic workout, quad focus, a mix of strength, functional movement patterns, full instructions. Make sure to subscribe. If you haven't already, I got new videos two times a week for you guys and let's get this. We're gonna get inside. <laughs> Ooh, I am so grateful to meet this beauty. What, is it two years on two us? Years. Two, two and a half, almost two and a half. Two and a half, <laughs> we've been through, gosh, me breakups, dogs, we're, we're sisters. So I asked my client, I said, meeting you for the first time, what do you want to train? And she said, quads and glutes. So today we are starting off with squats and this is going to be our main compound movement. As you see, I'm warming up here. Um, I did my first set with just the bar and then I did a 25 on each side, worked up to a 45 each side, and now um, I'm at a 45 and a 10 each side. Um, this is not my true working weight yet. I like to just do some sets just to warm up, then working up to my true working weight of 185. And as you see my client here, again, she's warming up, keeping her chest up, keeping her back nice and tight, exhaling on the way up as she explodes up. So this is actually going to be my final warm-up set here. I typically do around three to four warm-up sets and then I'm going to be going into my 185 for four sets after this. I want you guys to really watch my form. Notice how my back is super, super tight. I'm squeezing that bar into my back, keeping my elbows tight to my rib cage. On the way down, my squat is nice and controlled and then I exhale and explode on the way up. Um, always make sure you do something called bracing your core and that helps protect your spine when you are doing any types of heavy lifting. And I wanted to record um, my working set for you guys. So this is 185 pounds here. I did four sets of five reps here and I kept a three to five minute rest period in between these sets. And I did that because you wanna make sure that you're getting adequate recovery to be able to keep lifting the heavy weight, but also recover from that muscle fatigue. So again, here I did four sets, five reps, three minutes, and this was my first exercise in today's workout. So after this, we're gonna be moving into more of a glute focused exercise. And I know this isn't typical on a quad day, but the glutes actually have been one area that I've really been trying to focus on on my physique because I didn't when I initially started bodybuilding. Um, I just was so focused on the power lifting. So I'm like, let's be strong. And now I'm like, give me aesthetics too. Um, so the next exercise that we are going to be doing is a wide stance. Good morning. And what you guys want to notice here is that I actually have more bend in my knee than a typical good morning. Um, when you're focusing on hitting your hamstrings, you typically hinge back at your hips, keeping more stiffness in your legs. And as you notice here, I am hinging at my hips still, but sitting more into it. And this is gonna target the glutes a little bit more over those hamstrings, as well as taking a wide stance, opens up those hips for all my people that have tight hips, and it also helps fire your adductors, which is your inner thigh muscles more, which is an area that I've really been trying to focus on with my physique. Um, me and my client, we both did three sets here, increasing the weight each set, and we did 12 reps for each set. We kept our rest periods around one to two minutes here, and just really, really focused on, again, keeping our chest up, pushing our hips back toward the wall, feeling the stretch in the glutes in the hamstrings and exhaling on the way up. This here is my final set of the wide stance good mornings and this is the heaviest that I go here. Um, this is 135 pounds and 
This is a lot harder than you guys think it is. When you're pushing your hips back, your core is involved tremendously in here. So I don't like to go crazy heavy. I'm a big person when it comes to form over ego lifting and you could just look how I control the weight. I'm feeling the stretch in my hamstrings, exhaling up, squeezing my glutes and really just keeping tension in that muscle throughout the entire movement. Toward the end, I got a little excited and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to wrap it out. And I just was kept exhaling and I did more reps than I even thought I was going to do here. But I just, I was feeling it, guys. Moving into our next superset, we have one of my favorite exercises for the most gnarly quad pump. It is going to be a landmine hack squat. And for this exercise, you want to lean back against the plate when you're setting up and then bring your feet forward so that when you squat down, you are at a 90 degree angle. Um, I did three sets here of 10 reps with two plates. And as you see, I kept my feet shoulder width apart, um, did more of a close stance with this. I am doing a superset. So what I did was three sets of the 10 reps here. Immediately when I finished my set, I went into the next exercise. And the next exercise is a back foot elevated dumbbell split squat. And I don't know if you tried these before, but they are so much harder than they seem. So for this exercise, you wanna choose a weight where we're going for around 12 reps each leg. And as you can see, I keep my shin vertical. I have a slight lean forward at my hip, but my back is flat, my chest is up, my lats are engaged. And then I'm keeping the weight in that front heel and really sitting into that front hip, feeling that glute, feeling the stretch and the squeeze in the glute. And this is a very quad glute dominant exercise, majority being in the quads, but it does do have that emphasis in the glutes too. So I am doing the other leg now. As you can see, I do a nice slow tempo again, pressing my weight in that heel on the way up, feeling the drop in my hip and exhale all the way to the top, squeezing the glutes at the top. And we did three sets here of 12 reps each leg. It wouldn't be a quad workout without finishing off with good old leg extensions. And I love leg extensions. I feel like they're a great isolation exercise to overload um, the quads and help with muscle hypertrophy. So we're doing four sets here. We did four sets of 10 reps. And I started off with a lighter weight around 140 pounds. And then every single set, I increased it, working up to 200 pounds, which is a set that you'll see right here. Um, 200 pounds I did here, and I think I got around six to eight reps for this. And then after we did four sets of 10, we lowered the weight and did a little drop set. And you don't have to do that. That's just another little way to take your muscles to failure. <laughs> I wanted to finish off and share with you guys um, some form cues and how to set up properly in a leg extension. So as you see my client, I have her seat forward enough to where her knee is right in line with that yellow circle to the left. You can see my knees and to the left of it, the little circle. That is where you want your knee lined up with that bench. You want to make sure that you are pulling your butt into that pad pulling your butt, keeping your butt down, glued down, and then don't kick up the weight. You wanna slowly move the weight by extending your legs and really control the movement on the way up and the way down. I see a lot of people kick the weight up normally and remember, muscle hypertrophy. If you wanna build muscle, you wanna create more muscle fibers. You create more muscle fibers by overloading, yes, through weight, but also slowing down the movement, focusing on time under tension. And the more time under tension, we're gonna break down more muscle fibers and we are gonna grow these quads. If you guys have been following me a while on Instagram, you know I like to do crazy things. So I thought, hey, you know what? Why not do a sissy squat hold with three plates on my lap and my client standing on top? And she was so game for it. So I'm gonna let you guys watch. And yeah, here we go. you guys 
guys enjoyed this today. Um, I really wanted to share it with you. It's so nice being able to meet my clients in person, especially after being with someone for two years. And it just, I wanted to share this with you guys too on YouTube. So get ready. Um, again, new workouts every Wednesday, every Sunday. I have a new nutrition talk for you guys. So make sure to subscribe and let me know below. What would you guys like to see more of on my channel? Let's go into 2022 kicking butt. Um, also, one last thing, I am now accepting new clients and I'll put all my information below for you guys.